Hey guys, Derek Jordan, Children's Pastor at Lifeguard Kids. I'm going to teach you how to do this card trick that you did for the uh, lesson with uh, Sarah Laughs, the Snickers lesson. And <clears throat> basically this is the, the classic slap card trick that is done. It's just really it was one of the very first card tricks I learned uh, learning magic. It wasn't the first one, but it was one of the first. And so usually any card magician knows how to do this trick. But um, you may have noticed Dodo didn't do it. Dodo kind of did it halfway um, for, for what he did. I'll, do, I'll go through Dodo's performance and then I'll teach you the way that I usually do the trick because it, 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 it gets a better, gives a better punch uh, that way. And the reason that Dodo did it the way he did is because it was uh, it was the first time well I had done it in a while. Anyway, what what you're doing is you have a card selected, and for this one the the, the card is going to be Isaac for this particular one. But if you're doing the slap card trick, you have a card selected. So there's a card selected, and it's the Jack of Hearts. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see the Jack of Hearts. I can probably get a little bit closer and it'll be alright. So the Jack of Hearts is the card that's chosen. And you're going to put it into the deck. Get it nice and lost. And of course what you're really doing is getting it to the top. Any way you want to get it to the top. Of course I do a double undercut. Which I've taught how to do that in other videos. But basically, for the trick, you want that card on the top of the deck. So, anyway, you get the card that's chosen on the top of the deck. And the way Dodo did it is he picked out five cards one by one. He'd pick out a card and he'd show it. Is that the card? No, that's not the card. So then the spectator would hold it. And he'd be like, well, if that wasn't Isaac, let me see, is that Isaac? No. And so it's, it's kind of like he's messing up a bunch of times. He, he might shuffle the cards, you know, because, you know, Abraham actually went through the action of trying to make the promise happen. It's a little awkward to not have my face in there, but um, Abraham went through the process of trying to make the promise happen that God gave him. But uh, So that's why you do shuffle cards or thing. you can talk about that. That's through two cards. Anyway, you get five cards all selected. Alright, so we got five cards selected. And this is how Dodo did it. When he had all five cards selected, they were being held by the other person, and he pulled the he pulled the card that is the right card that's on the top. He pulled it down like this. He slips it off. He's sorry, put these down so you can see this. The top card is the selected card, so he slipped it out like so. Okay, grabs it with his hand pull and drop it here. Now, the way that looks from a distance is just like you're messing with the cards like this. You can just keep, but you just pull that one and get it to the top. Now you don't want anybody to see that. You don't want to do that and then show or tilt so that they end up seeing that that card's there. So you get these cards and you lay them on top you lay them on top of this, this selected one. So you want to push that over and get yourself a break underneath that upside down card. So now you got five cards sitting on top of the selected card. And so what he did is as he pulled these out, he slid this top card off just for later because then you'll only have five cards. So as, as you go to put this in the person's hand, before you're going to slap it, you just slide that off and go to their hand. Now you want to do a wrist kill and drop this. Let me get back a little bit so you can see what this looks like. So you've got this on top and you're pulling it off. But Sorry, you're pulling it off just to keep it there. But this is upside down, so it's going to look funny if you do this. Now not too many people would catch if you did this and stood like that. Not too many people, but somebody might, so you want to do what's called a wrist kill. 
and as you pull the card down you turn your wrist so that this is the inside and then you you can also bring it down to your side so this is the full action that you would do is you would tilt the cards up pull the card off it's a wrist kill down drop it by your side and you can put the cards in your pocket because you don't need them anymore get rid of them all the evidence is gone and so you get rid of those and then you've got a setup where there are four cards facing this direction and one card facing that direction. Now you want to make sure you're back far enough from everybody that they don't see that both sides show the back of cards. And you don't want the person over here seeing it. So you want, you want the, them to do is make a fist and to have to take be able to take two fingers, two knuckles, to put the cards into. Like so. Okay? And if you notice, Dodo had a serious problem getting it to work right and I think it was, well I'm not exactly sure why it was a problem, but it was a problem. So and it may be these cards, you might see that I'll have a problem right now. Well, all you have to do now is, you've got that card reversed, and you just slap the cards. And if you follow the pattern that Dodo did, you'll, get, you, you, you'll know how to make that work for that particular object lesson. And then any other object lesson, again, watch that pattern, see how he does it, see the timing, and you'll know that. So you slap these cards. This is very hard to do. This is very hard to do by yourself like this because of the nature of how you have to do it. So it is much better if there's somebody else that can hold the cards or somebody else that can slap the cards, either way. It is better if they hold the cards and you slap them. I got some to come off. I think it's these cards, to be perfectly honest. Because normally, I do not have this issue. Normally I can slap. There we go. Did you see that? That was perfect. So then you then it reveals the card, and uh, that's how that works. So uh, you guys enjoy it. Um, that's it. Enjoy it. See you there. Hey, here's the other way to do the trick. You have a card chosen. Let's say it's this one. What you're gonna do is you want to get this card to the very top of the deck. So I'm just gonna put it there for now. You get that card to the top of the deck. Then you start showing cards, or shuffle, you know, do some shuffling, do some cuts, while keeping that one on the top of the deck. So what you're going to do is do a double lift, and to do the double lift, you want to get two cards pulled up, one, two, as one, and then you flip them with a pinky, with get your pinky underneath it, you flip the two cards as if they're one. So. You flip that and you'll say, is this the card? You'll show them this card. And of course they're going to say no. So you flip that back over and then you put it down. But It looks like you're putting down the card you showed them, but you're actually putting down the, the card that is the correct card, the selected card. So you put that down. Then you flip the deck over and show them the bottom card. Is this your card? They can say no. You can take that card, put it down. Then you're going to do the top card again, but you're going to do a double lift again. Otherwise, if I didn't do a double double lift, I'd be showing them the same card I showed them last time. So you do another double lift and show them a new card. When they say that's not the card, you turn that over, put that down. Show them the bottom card. When they say that's not it, put that card down. And then you do a double lift again from the top. Show that card. That's not it. So you put that down. So, this card actually never gets put in, even though they uh, even though they saw this card, it never ends up into the deck down there. But what they think is that the five cards that you've pulled out, these five cards, are not the card. So then you say, okay, we've eliminated half the cards, so you'll take off half the cards. It makes no sense, but you keep going. Okay, so we're finding Isaac. We've eliminated uh, that half of the deck. So now we've got uh, these five here. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. You can just eliminate the whole deck. You say, okay, we've eliminated the whole deck. You don't have to go through that. That was something else I would do. So just forget that. You say, we've eliminated the deck. So then you've got the five cards, and you've got this card. This is the selected card. So what you want to do is turn this one around so you can get the effect. Now you can do it like this and have it be slapped and then that, that last card will be left and then you can turn it around and reveal it 
but I've always liked it better if when this when it gets slapped this is right in their face so the way that I flip this card around is is like this I, I have the cards in my hand like this and I just flip it around like that so if it was this is a little awkward sitting down but this is the best way I can do the camera here so for the way it would look to somebody else if you're looking I'm taking this card and I'm just flipping it over like that underneath my hands so you want to make that a pretty smooth motion under your hands you just make it look like you're just doing some natural back and forth with it and so now that's upside down you're gonna slap the cards boom and then that one is the one that's left just like that so that's the that's the other way to do it the way that um is a little bit better so I think it gives a little bit of better punch because then they're like how I didn't I didn't even think that one was in the the five we saw those cards you went through them um, it's a it's a little bit of a better effect anyway enjoy it guys bye